Hey y'all, LT here. This is a 2001 Newmore Country Star KSDP 3665. I've had this unit for five years. This is a storage unit where I keep it inside. Has been for the last five years. I'll show you a shot of the inside here. Walk you through what I can on the outside. Front. Captain's chairs, both of them, have been recovered with the flex steel ultra leather cover on them. This driver's side window right here. The other one looked like crap, so I replaced it with a new window just because I'm anal. My wife says I'm OCD. Replaced the plexiglass there on that cabinet door along with the plexiglass there on that cabinet door just because I didn't like the way the old ones looked. New fixtures I've gone with brush nickel to try to get away from the gold. A new flat screen TV up front along with a Bose sound bar. All the hardware you see has been replaced with brushed nickel. Had no idea the cost of that till I started having to buy each one of those handles and count how many I needed. But you can see there the beautiful cabinet work that Newmar does. And this is a 01. Your backsplash here in the kitchen used to be wallpaper and mirror. You see I have done away with that and gone back with a rock backsplash. The lamps or wall sconces on each side of the couch. Again, did away with the with the gold. Went back with the brush nickel. For a 2001, and, and, and I'm biased, but this coach is in great shape. And I have spent a lot of time and a lot of work on it myself. Getting again away from all the gold, going to brush nickel. New fixtures for the sink, shower, bathroom. New refrigerator got away <clears throat> from the old style propane electric and went with residential. I put in a brand new. 2000 watt Freedom XC inverter charger, pure sign. And I've got all my outlets, TVs, refrigerator running off of that. Now keep in mind there are only two house batteries on this coach. So I found that about if I'm running just off of the batteries overnight. I'm fine. Eight to ten hours, something like that. Nice full size shower. This is a cabinet. I, when I got it, it was done this way, and I have not changed it back. The gentleman put these shelves in here. Um, it is plumbed for a, uh, you can see it back there, a washer dryer, which is, uh, I guess, what the original owner had in here when he bought it new. We just got back on them. A trip from Nashville, Tennessee. I 
have not had a chance to put the correct sheets on the bed yet. And here as well, got rid of the old style TV and put up a LCD. I did purchase the extra remote for the Reader Sign Xantrax Freedom XC charger, which just gives me the capability of monitoring it inside here as opposed to having to go outside. This is with the slide out, obviously. And that blue carpet there, something I just tried when we went on this trip, putting it down to keep the dirt down a little bit. Uh, I'll go ahead and put that slide in and give you a, a look of what it's like with the slide in. Close this, close this hinge right here. But the cool thing I like about this coach compared to some of my buddies that have newer coaches is when they're going down the road, they don't have a lot of a room inside to be walking back and forth to the bathroom, to the kitchen. It's a very narrow walkway where this one, you can see, leaves you with quite a bit of room to move around while traveling down the road. So again, this is a 2001 Newmar Country Star. Um, let me get you a shot of the dash here. HWH leveling jacks. I did put in a scan gauge in order to help with monitoring the temperatures on my air intake, my water, my oil pressure, several things like that. I'll have to get you the mileage. I want to say it's at about 75 or 76,000 right now. Alright y'all, if you have an interest, holler at me.